Hello everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're gonna to talk about shoulder shrugging during your row. So uh, when, I, when I'm doing a dumbbell row, there's a lot going on with the support arm, the uh, support arm. Um, we're gonna say that, you know, for learning purposes, maybe that's fine. Um, though I would watch my other videos and make sure it actually is fine. Um, and when I'm setting up there, sometimes I can still mess up, even if I have this good setup, by letting my rowing arm or rowing shoulder come up toward my ear when I row. And it usually isn't this like swing motion. It's usually just kind of set up there and then rowing stuck in that position. So when you do that, you limit the space that your rotator cuff has uh, on the top of your shoulder and it starts to impinge that muscle on bony parts of your scapula. Um, <laughs> one would not recommend, great way to hurt your shoulder. <laughs> uh, two, happens a lot in bench pressing too, when your elbows flare out to 90 degrees, limits that motion too. So learning the row also relates to the bench press. Um, big thing just to kind of figure this one out, uh, it's, it's kind of difficult to cue because I, I don't like giving negative cues by saying something like, uh, don't shrug, right? Because now all I can think about is shrugging. <laughs> um, so what I prefer to do is I say, hey, just set that shoulder down a little bit toward your hip. And then I want you to really feel your left ab while you're rowing. And if I have a left ab, I'm probably not over shrugging too much. And if I do, I just say, hey, set the shoulder down again. And you can watch, you can do a set where you're shrugged on purpose and take a look at what it looks like. And then you can shake it out, set it down a little bit, and then try again. You should feel more muscles on your middle back and less muscles on your upper, upper back and your neck shouldn't be quite as tight after you do your set. So that is shrugging during your dumbbell row.